The Matchless Mine Site is listed on the Park Service National Register of Historic Places. It is also the location of Baby Doe's Cabin, where Silver King Horace Tabor's second wife, Elizabeth Bonduel McCourt Doe Tabor, lived out her last years. Known popularly as Baby Doe, her frozen body was found in the cabin March 1935. The cabin and the Matchless No. 6 Hoist House are open for guided or self-guided surface tours. Check the museum's website or Facebook page for days and hours of operation. The site is located on East 7th Street, County Road 3, one and one quarter miles east of the National Mining Hall of Fame and Museum in Leadville. The top of this aerial view of the site is north. Baby Doe's cabin and the number six hoist house are shown in purple. Visitor access on the site is limited to the tour area outlined by pink. The presence of numerous abandoned mines make it unsafe to venture outside the tour area. When visiting the site, please go to the office first for tickets and up-to-date information. The matchless claim is outlined in blue. It covers slightly more than six acres. The matchless was owned personally by H.A.W. Tabor from July 1880 until July 16, 1889, when it was transferred to the Matchless Mining Company. Or was mined from the Matchless claim for more than 50 years, from 1878 to the late 1930s. During that time, more than 130,000 tons of ore were mined from the Matchless. It contained over 4 million ounces of silver, as well as lead, zinc, and iron. Many mining structures were built on this site, but time has taken its toll. Only two structures, Baby Doe's Cabin and the number six hoist house survive. The number six shaft survives, but the underground workings that produce the ore are no longer accessible. The following video will show the location of surface structures that are now gone. It will also show 3D views of the underground workings that produced the ore. 12 structures have been built on the site. Only two remain, Baby Doe's Cabin and the number six hoist house. The location of 10 structures that no longer exist are shown in white. They include offices, a blacksmith shop and carpenter shop, shaft houses, an assay house, and boiler houses. Matchless ore could not be accessed through horizontal tunnels known as adits. That made it necessary to use vertical shafts. Over the years, seven shafts were constructed or sunk on the matchless. They're numbered in the order they were constructed, from one to seven. Only the number six located east of the cabin and number six hoist house survives. It was the last to be operated and is the deepest reaching 525 feet. The ground surface has been removed from this 3D view. It shows the relationship of the seven matchless shafts. The number six is highlighted in yellow. Structures that no longer exist are white with gray shading. Baby Doe's cabin and the number six hoist house are purple. Mine shafts can be thought of as an inverted building elevator. Ore is raised to the surface and miners and material are raised and lowered. There are also passages for ventilation. Like floors of a building, a mine is developed on levels. Ore, miners, and materials are transferred to and from the shaft to levels at what are known as stations. Levels are horizontal access tunnels known as drifts. They're used to transport ore, explore for ore, provide air for ventilation, and underground access for miners and material. This 3D view looks to the west. Baby Doe's cabin and the number six hoist house are purple. The boundary of the matchless claim is blue. Shafts are shown as black vertical lines. Drifts are orange. There are a total of one and one half miles of drifts on the matchless. Ore was mined from large underground rooms called stopes. 
As ore was removed, openings were supported by large timbers arranged in what is called a square set. Some stopes in the matchless were over 30 feet high. This 3D view looks west. Small underground shafts that connect some stopes to drifts are shown in red. Stopes are shown as multicolored shapes. Stopes at the matchless range from 95 to 265 feet below the surface. They cover more than one and one half acres. In 2006, Bort Longyear donated the drilling of an exploration core hole on the matchless. It is located southeast of the hoist house. To learn more about core drilling, visit the Bort Longyear exhibit in the National Mining Hall of Fame and Museum. The hole was drilled to a depth of 357 feet. Rock that favors the occurrence of ore ranges in depth from 124 to 285 feet. Core samples were assayed by Newmont Mining Company. The best sample was taken at a depth of 192 feet. It contained 10 ounces of silver per ton. In this 3D view, the core hole is shown as thin vertical lines and the 10 ounce interval is cyan. A display with more information about the core hole is located in the hoist house. This 360 degree fly around illustrates the relation of shafts, drifts, stopes, the core hole, and structures. It begins and ends looking north. More than 130,000 tons of ore have been extracted from the matchless stopes. This ore contained over 4 million ounces of silver as well as lead, zinc, and iron.